All right, let's look at inputting some MIDI and see what advanced inputting techniques we've got. So first off, I've set my tempo to 80 BPM. I've got my metronome on, and I'm going to use an electric piano. I'm just going to use the chords G minor to F. So I'm going to hit Command K to open up my keyboard, and then I'm going to hit R to record. There we are. So I've just played some staccato uh, chords. None of those are held in, and as you can see, they are not perfectly aligned to the grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my notes and hit Q, and it will quantize them. That means it will snap it to the grid. And I can do that for all of mine. Now, currently, the quantize setting is set to 1 16th, which means there are 16 lines in every bar, and my notes have to snap to that one. So if my notes are closer to this line here, when I hit Q, it will snap it to the left. However, if they are here, it will snap it to the right line. So let me show you. There you go, you see it snapped to the left. And if it was ever so slightly further, now when I hit Q, oh. there we go. So I want it back to its original place. And now we have this. Okay, so now let's have a look at what else we can do with MIDI. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use the sustain pedal, which is really important to let notes uh, last a longer period of time. So if you don't have this window open, I'll show you how to open it up. It's very simple, you just double click. And then over here we've got control of velocity for each individual note, so we can make them louder or quieter brighter or duller, depends on how loud you play them. And then if we pr press this automation button here, we'll be able to select the sustain pedal. And it works the same way as the pedal on a piano. So if the pedal is engaged, the notes that are, that are being played keep playing, keep sounding. So at the moment, the pedal is engaged and we'll hear all the notes for a longer period of time. And that sounds quite messy because we have the notes from this chord lingering over the notes from this chord here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the pedal just just as the notes sound. And then the pedal will just sustain the notes of that chord at that particular time. So I didn't turn it off fully there. Drag it all the way down to zero. So that's how you do use the sustain pedal. Another tool you might want to use in this automation, which is interesting, is modulation. And if you have a keyboard, you'll have a modulation wheel on the left-hand side. And you'll also see it here. So for example, this is a sound with no modulation, but with max modulation. Hopefully you can hear that difference. And what we can do is we can automate that in to make this instrument sound more interesting. So let's do that. So I've selected modulation, click in my notes, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a ramp. So I'm going to start with no modulation, and then each chord is going to have progressively more modulation added to it. And this is all done by drawing in these automation points or nodes. And at the moment, I've set it to 68, which isn't the full amount of modulation, so we can 
change it up so you can hear it. So let's have a listen to this. Other things that we can do is pitch bend, which is again, if you have a physical keyboard to your left, you'll have a little pitch bend wheel. And zero, right in the middle, is no pitch bend. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have my chord bend it in. So it'd be out tune and then slowly slide in. Uh, I like that. It's just a little bit too slow. So let me just change it so it's a little bit quicker. And let me add a little bit of pitch bend to this chord as well. Let's go the other way. Last a little bit longer. So that's how you can do some advanced MIDI automation. Other ones worth checking out um, is Expression. That works really nicely on orchestral instruments. And uh, yeah, experiment.